recording. Hi, dear friends, how are you? And welcome to our course. Uh, we are uh, continue our journey with the book of Ezekiel. Today we're going to read the beautiful chapter of 23. Really, um, it's very graphic. Yeah, it's very graphic. <laughs> it's very graphic. I, I call it's it fierce. It, there's no hope. <laughs> it's very. I mean, you need to take the rough with the smooth in the Bible, and this is definitely a rough passage. <laughs> <laughs> I think I call it the, the one of the most rudest rude chapters yeah. in the Bible, um, and uh, yeah, the chapter before has more hope. <laughs> it's, it's got, well, it, it, it's it's less graphic, but today's our chapter was, you know, it's fierce, uh, yeah. but. Hey, we need to read it all, so. <laughs> yeah, and I think that what's so interesting in the Bible, especially with the prophets, it's always, you know, uh, you have uh, the situation that you feel a little bit hopeless and you can see destruction and graphic uh, descriptions as we're going to see today. But from the other end, as the book and the, uh, continues, so we are going to see hope and redemption. And this is something mm -hmm. that in the next week, of course, the dry bone visions is waiting for us in Ezekiel 37. But uh, let us start, and uh, as always, we start with the blessing. So, uh, Ruth, would you like to bless us, dear friend? Oh, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Let me just hang one second. One second. Um, Kim Mela Haeretz Da'a Et Adonai. Amen, amen, dear friend. And uh, let us start with the description, and the descriptions, the graphic one starts from the beginning. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Um, okay, uh, let's go. Rega, let's see. Um, Debar Adonai, Alila Yomer, Benadam, Shatin Nashin, um, Banot et Ehad Hayu. Um, the Tasnina, the Mesri, Mesrain, oh yes, Mesrain, the Naaraihan, Zanu, um, Shoma, Meaki, uh, Shedded Hen, Hen, Ushan, Asu, uh, de de, but uh, teluhen. But I've learned today that the word here is isu, and in Hebrew, isui is massage. So this is actually, oh. and it's re, massage relates to press. Um, and, and the word of uh, God, the uh, Ezekiel, speak about the description of two women and one mother, and this is. Uh, interesting because the mother is actually God uh, and mm. I think that uh, I heard that uh, someone that was a scholar that wrote about the motherhood of God if uh, this is a passage that he can use uh, with this sentence because what if the mother of those two women is God and the two women are actually uh, are going to be uh, the two kingdoms of Israel uh, mm the uh, the United Kingdom was divided uh, at the, after the death of Solomon in the time of Rechavan and Yorubam. But before we're speaking about those two, two uh, women, we can see that from the beginning, from when they were young, they uh, also uh, were uh, uh, committed, as we call it, maybe... Uh, prostitution uh, um, in Egypt. Uh, and there is a description of their body and their actions. And um, this is actually the beginning point of uh, a long uh, re re relationship, but relationship that we're going to see mainly today, the bad side of this relationship, mm -hmm. uh, the adultery and uh, the other and this is something which is really interesting to see because, you know, uh, when, when you read the Bible, uh, always you ask yourself, 
and, and I'm going to be surprised today. And I've read this chapter many times this week, and every time I read it, I said, wow, I can't believe this is what is written. Uh, but this is all, and, and this is what is beautiful of, of reading the Bible every day, because you have always surprises. And let us see what we can learn from this long chapter and uh, move to, uh, just a moment, uh, to Pepe. And Pepe will read to us uh, the next verses. Thank you, Ellie. Ushmotam Acholak Hagidola, Hagidola, the Acholiva Achotach, Vertit Yena, Lee, Vertel Lad Na, Banim Uva Note, Ushmotan, Shom Shomron, Vercola. By Yerushalayim v'choliva, v'tizen acholataktai, v'tegav al me'achavecha, sorry, me'achavecha el ashur ke'keruvim, levushay tikelet pachot, Usganim Bachre Hemed Kulam Parashim Rokve Shushim. Excellent. First of all, we can see their names Ahola and Aholiva. Ahola is the, the, the older, and Aholiva is the younger. And they are actually also, they, they have a place. The place of Aola is Shavuot, which was the capital of the Northern Kingdom. We can we read in 1 Kings 16 that Omri bought it uh, from Shemer. And this was from that moment and on the capital of the Northern Kingdom. And of course, Yerushalayim was uh, Ohalipa. This is actually the Kingdom of Israel, the Northern Kingdom, and the Kingdom of Judah, the Judai Kingdom. Uh, and we can see that both had actually. Uh, the heart uh, with the, the Assyrians and they were really impressed from the clothes of the Assyrians from their uh, captains and rulers and they were desirable men and there were horsemen riding upon horses the, the idea is that you choose the lover according to the side according to the position and which which leads us maybe to a difficulty of an abstract God that you cannot see so one of the things that you need to do is to, to believe, but you need to imagine or you need to trust that this is the God and, and you can see it. You can see his actions. And here we can see a different relationship that relates on beauty, that relates of something that you can see, that relates not on character. Uh, and for that reason, the choice of those two women uh, created an adultery uh, with uh, with God, with the mother, actually, that uh, we've seen in the beginning. Um, the relationship, Ohalo oh, and Ohaliva, Ohalo, it uh, relates to the, the, the meaning of oil, which is tent, his tent, Ohaliva, my tent is in it, which relates to Jerusalem when the temple was in it. This is the tent or the tent of meeting that we know. So the names that were chosen here, it's not just a coincidence. It relates also to a place that is, should be really close to, to God. But instead of being in this place, these women decided to move to something that they can see, something that is more maybe more impressive because you can see it. And uh, we, we can see that the seed started in Egypt, but it continued with the Assyrians and will continue with the Babylonians. So it's really interesting to see that the words here because you're getting a, a really graphic understanding about the relationship between the people of Israel and the Northern Kingdom and the Judah Kingdom and God. Let us continue to see what happened afterwards. So um, the next one to read is uh, Detlef. Detlef, how are you, dear friend? 
Oh, fine. Only a little bit lonely, but uh, yeah, because uh, we have no uh, no wife and no no kids and no uh, no family. Yeah, my fa my brother lives in 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 Switzerland. Ah, you have the Bible Ellie family. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what he then has wrote here. Uh, me mit Raim, no, as war ki ota. Schachwu, bino reaha, verheima. Ich isu di tadei betoleha. Ve ich bahu tads. No Tom Alehe Lachem Betatia Bayat Ma Have Havea Bayat Vene Ashur Asher Shava Alehe Fenodin. It's here uh, that, first of all, the choice was not something specific. It was all the Assyrians and all the Gilulim. And also she didn't, they, they didn't left it. And for that reason, God is saying, I'm going to give the, her in the hand of the Assyrians, in the land, but not in a good way. They are going to suffer from destruction. They are going to suffer from exile. So we can see, first of all, all, which is totality and from the bad side, to the evil side. And we can see that there is a description of the Assyrians from one hand, the new lover, and the old lover, which is the Egypt. And this is also something that those two women didn't let, didn't leave. So it's, it's, it's all there. Now, the hand of the lovers is going to be the hand that will uh, smite them, will destroy them. So, uh, also something which is really uh, important to see. And uh, let's say hello to Maria. Maria, how are you, dear friend? I'm fine, thank you. You had a good week? Yeah, with pleasure. Emma Gilou, Ervatah, Veneha, Venotea, Lakahu, for Otah, Bacherev, Haragu, Fathi, Shem, Lanashim, Ush Futim, Ashu, Bach, Fatere, Achotim, Achotah, Ahaliba. Shouldn't it be Aholiba? Aholiba, yeah. Aholiba or Oholiba? Aholiba. Aholiba, okay. Because in our translation it's called Oholiba. Ahaliba, Fatash, Fatash, Hit, Agfatah, Mimena. Et tas nutea mis nu ne achote achotah el bene ashur ashur agava pachot usganim kerovim le fushe michlul. Parash Parashim Rochve Susim 
בחורי חמד כולם. חמד כולם. יפה, and verse 12 actually repeats of another verse that we've seen. And what we've seen, uh, if we just take it back one moment, uh, I don't know why it's working now. Uh, so we can see the time that the, the Northern Kingdom was, uh, Ahola were actually uh, uh, destroyed in 722 before Common Era. This was the time that we know from the Book of Kings. And her sister, Aoliva, continued and has done even more than her. And one more time we can see the Assyrians and the captain and rulers and horsemen, and they were desirable. One more time. It's not the same words by the order, but it's the same words that we've seen before. So the first to commit the sin is the older sister, uh, but uh, also the young sister continued and have done even worse. And uh, let us see now what happens on our reading, and uh, say hello to Gabriel. How are you, dear friend? Can you read to us? Can you can you read today? You okay. Yes, please. Yofi, you had a good week. And how are you? I'm okay. Thank you very very much. Really happy as always to, to be here. And uh, even that the, the text is not so easy to read, not just because of the words, but also because of the descriptions. I think this is. Always our challenge to face always chapters in the Bible and to see what we can learn from them. Um, you're all welcome to read. I hope that you're okay. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. Vaire ki nit ma ma'a David. David Ed Etar Nea Etan Lo Lote Lotehan I lost it. Lost. Lost the hen. Lost the hen, you think? Yeah. What do? What do say? El. Ha. Has. No. Team. Vater Vatere Aneshi Mi Mihu Mihuka Al Hakim Sal Mer Samer Sal Salme Kasi dim haku kim bash basha shir basha bash basha shar Hat Hatsure Az Azur Bama Bamat Bamat Banat Yim Tr Tru Truhe Tafu Tafu Lim Bi 
bra brashe brashe him mar mare shalo shalo shim fulam de do ne do do mut bni fa fa fal fa fal bash bashorin eret mo mola di tim tim then that there was one way of the the file both of them but uh, the the younger sister even as we said before increased now we can see the Babylonians. Before we've seen the Egyptian, Egypt, we've seen Assyria, now we can see Hasdim or Babel. And the images of the Babel are there uh, upon the wall. And the description here is, is graphic in order to cause us, I think, to, to feel embarrassed. Because I think that the other prophets, Jeremiah and also uh, Isaiah, when they describe sins, they've done it, you know, and they showed us how it's difficult, but I think that Ezekiel even make it worse with his descriptions. Um, and let us see what happened now. Uh, Sharon, be Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, Vata Geva or Uta Uta Geva um, Alchem Le Mare Encha uh, Vatishla Malkin Alehem Kash Dima. Um, let's see Baya Bohu Ela Ale Babel. Le Mishkap do Dim Vatamere Vatameru Ota Bitsanutam Vatitma Bam Vateka Nasha Mehem Vetagar Taznuleha Vetagar et Ervata Vateka Nafshi Mi Alaha Asher Nakoa Nafshi Me'al Achotah. When you use in modern Hebrew the expression Naka'a Nafshi, that means that I can't take it anymore. You or she went too far. This too far. This year. We can see her that, can see her that she, 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 she came and, and to, to Babylonian and they defied her. And uh, she, she came to be, uh, you know, we know the word Odim in a good uh, uh, context in the, the, the Song of Songs, Shira Shirim, Dodi or Dodim. But here, it's not between lovers, it's between uh, uh, someone that tried to, to take advantage and she was defied. And she wanted the Babylonians instead of God. So through the text, we can see how the, the, the sin was so horrible that is, is described in such, in such a way that is graphic. And want to show us that this is something that God cannot say, okay, let's forgive them and that's it. No, something must be changed. And last week, we've seen something that has changed with the way that God punished. Uh, we spoke about hope, we spoke about resp personal responsibility, but here, those two women 
that actually describe those two kingdoms, it seems to be that nothing can help. One is already in exile, the other is going to do it soon. So when there is an expression like anafshi, that means that I can take it no more. Enough is enough. And uh, let us see what happens now when we continue. Ellie? Again. I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Wasn't that all one country at one time? And uh, why did they divide? I forgot. I knew at one time, but I forgot. It relates to the sins of Solomon in 1 Kings 11. Solomon, at the end of his life, probably, uh, where he, first of all, he married uh, many women. This is something that cannot be done according to the law of the king. He married also foreign women. And uh, those women actually influenced him to, I'm not, I'm not sure if he served them, but to do everything that relates to the serve of the other gods, to build uh, uh, a high in the high places, he built uh, uh, places for, for those, for the other gods. So God decided not to bring the punishment in his generation because of his father, because of David, because the, the time of his son, Rechavam, the, there was the punishment of the division of the uh, kingdom, the two. So it's in 1 Kings 11 and also in 12 that we can see. Um, thank you, Sharon Tadaraba. Let's start the, the, the next round of uh, reading. Um, Ruth, Okay, one second. Um. The uh, Terava et Tasnotia, the Zeku et Yami, Nayoria, Asha uh, Zantab, Eretz, Mitzrayim. U uh, Tergava al uh, Palgishihem, Asha ba Basa, um, Hamarin. Um, uh, um, Saram, um, Zeramat, Susim, Zeramitihan, O uh, Tafokadi, et Zamat, Neriha, De Asot, Mimitrain, De Daik, Le Mayen, and here we can see actually the description of the sexual relationship, but not in a good way. Uh, and uh, the, the, the words of the, the she as the, the donkeys and the, the horses relates to, uh, uh, to, to the relationship itself. Also, we can see the description of the, the breath. Uh, and I think that this description here just can show us how uh, this uh, woman uh, didn't stop. She, can, she started with from Egypt and, and, and she is done as she is done in Egypt. Um, let's see more. Uh, Pepe, Vakasha. Lachen Acholiva Ko Amar Adonai Elohim Hini Me Ir Et Me Achavik Alayik Et Asher Naka Nafshek Mehem Vahavetim Alayik Misaviv Bene Vavel Vachol Kashtim Pe Pe kod vshua vkoa kol bene asur. Otam, otam, vachure he chemed pa pachot usganim kulam shalishim. Ukruim rukve susim kulam. Uva u al alayik hozen rekev vagalgal u uvikhal 
העמים זיווה הוא מגן וקובע ישימו ולהעיק סביב. ונתתי לפניהם משפט ושפטוק במשפטיהם. Excellent, and we've seen the Taoliva, which relates to the people of Judah. You can see, first of all, in any, which is a world of commitment, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to uh, raise up the lovers against you. We can see the Babylonians and the Kod Veshoa Vekod that relates to the Babylonians and the Assyrians. Everyone with their uh, chariots, with their buckler, with the wheels, with the wagons, with everything, they are going to come against you, and they will judge you. And the meaning of judge here, it's that they are going to uh, uh, attack you and they are going to uh, dis destroy you uh, because of your sins, because of your behavior. And let's continue to see. Uh, Maria, can you read to us, please? Oh. <laughs> I put up my head the headset. ונתתי קנאתי בך ועשו אותך וחמה אפך ואזנייך יסירו ואחריתך בחרב תיפול המה בנייך ובנותייך יקחו ואחריתך תאחר באש באש והפשיטו את בגדייך ולקח ולקחו כלי תפעתך והשבתי זימתך ממך ואת זנותך מארץ מצרים, ולא תשאי עינייך עליהם, ומצרים לא תזכרי עוד. אקסלנט, אנחנו יכולים לראות את השני פרסון, או את השני פרסון בפלורל, אך, 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 אייך, איך. Uh, everything is going to happen to you, and we can see here something which is really interesting. It seems to be that also in the Assyrian and also in Egypt there are a description that, that uh, uh, this is a punishment in Assyria. In, in uh, uh, One of the laws is that if a woman committed adultery, uh, you, should, uh, you, you need to cut her nose. So the punishment here is, is really crucial, but we can see that this is something that relates to, to their sin. Uh, uh, it's also something which is physical, it's also something which is mental. When their clothes were, are going to be taken, it's also uh, can be a sin or a beginning of sin of rape. So the, the, the idea is something which is really awful because the sin is awful here. And I think it's when you read this text and you can see this graphic description, you just think, wow, what a tragedy. How wrong was the, the scene that we've seen? Let's see uh, more. Kicho amar Adonai Elohim, ineni notenach beyad asher sanet, beyad asher nak'a nafshech me'em, ve'asu utach besin'a, ve'lakhu kol yegeech, ve'azabuch e'rom ve'eriyah, ונגלה ערבת זנונייך וזימתך ותזנותייך, עשו אל אלך בזנותך אחרי גויים על אשר נטמת בגילוליהם, בדרך אחותך הלכת ונתתי חוסה בידך. 
there is a kind of a cup, a cup of poison, a cup of sins that she's going to give, uh, she's going to get from her older sister that also, so she's going to be naked. We can see hatred. We can see that no one wants her. And because of the sins with nations, and we can see that this is in plural, uh, because she walked in the way of her sister, so this is going to be the punishment. And uh, continue with uh, this now. Uh, Detlef, can you read to us, please? Okay. Go on, Mar Adonai, Adonai, because Ha Holetech Tishoti Mava Amaka Ame Ama Ama Ha Amuaka the Har Haba the Haraba. Tihi ye Malich Hock over Ul la 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 Hotech Shom Shomron Vayishit Vashatit Ota Umatsit Beet Harashi Harashire Ha Tigaremi Versharich Tana Tarateki ki ani divareti na om Adonai Adonai lachen ko amar Adonai Adonai aya aya an shabachat oti betashlichi oti a harai gaiich vagam et shi chimatech et tats nutecha. Mutvataich. Excellent. And we can see that this cup is going to be even worse than the cup of her sister. She's going to be with drunkenness and sorrow and she's going even maybe to, to, to drink all the cup and also then when the cup is going to broken she's going to try to eat this. This, this is something that is making fun of her because of her action, because she forgot and pay attention. You threw me after your back. I'm not important for you. And God is saying you for that reason this is going to be your punishment. And your punishment even is going to be worse than the punishment of your sister. And we need to remember that because Aholiba is actually relates to Jerusalem and in Jerusalem was the temple, which is a house for the name of God. So the sin there is more awful than the sin that would be in Samaria because there, there wasn't the house of God in, in the time when there was a... a the Northern Kingdom. They were in Beit El and in Dan, places that there were calves, but this is something that is not, it's forbidden. So it's really important to remember that this scene of the Judaic Kingdom is even worse. And uh, let us see more from these words. Sharon, uh, Okay, uh, Vayomer Elohim Eleben Adam Hatishpat et Ahola Beet 
Ako liba vehaged lehen et toab tehen ki nefu asedam bedaham bedehen be et gilu lehen nefu begam et banahem asher Galedu li he e bilu lachem lachem leak leaka od so asu li timeu et mikdashi beom ahu vet shabetote he'll do. Let's see. Ubeshal shahatam et benehem le gilu lehem vayabaru el mikdashi vayom ahu leha alelo vehine ko asu etok beti. Excellent, and we can see the difference between them, lahen, toavoteen, yedeen, giluleen, neen, then to me. They did it to me. They defiled my, my, my temple. They ruined my Sabbath. They've done it in my house. And for that reason, uh, uh, Ezekiel uh, uh, was asked by God, are you going to judge them with, with not answer? Because this was... There are sins, and the sins here are awful. It's not just that they found that, that we can see here that, that even their kids they brought that they would be eaten. We can see descriptions like this in the book of Lamentations. We know that Menashe and Achaz, the king of Judah, they uh, burned their uh, sons um, uh, and, and sacrificed them um, according to what is written. And this is, of course, something that you can do. Uh, Moloch? Yeah, it's the Moloch, yeah, like the Moloch. So the sins here are awful, and for that reason, the punishment is awful. And uh, let's see now, uh, come back to Gabriel. Yeah, okay. Toda. <laughs> Sorry, do I hear somebody? No, you can read. Dish. Dish la. Khna. La. Ala nashim bayim mimel mimer merachak asher mal mala malach shal shalucha. Al aleye aleye ale yehem v vine vau va vau La asher ra rachatz rachatz rachatzti bachal bachal bachot anayim anayich va 
Adiyit Adi Faya Shan Shanot Al Mitai Mita Viva Vivu Vivuda Vashu Vashul Ha Ham Aruch Le Maneim Maneita Maneiha Vic Tarti Fusha Fushani Fushani Sam Samt Aleim Aleia Fakul Amor 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 Amur Amun Shali Ba Fel Anashim Merud Meruf Hadam Adam Mor Movaim Tavaim Mini Mini Bar Vait Vait no Sami Netsmi Yidim El Vare Hen Hech Vai Vai Ne Vai Terre Terret Tifa Eret El and, and we can see here elements that relates to beauty. Uh, the eyes and the jewelries and the Shulchan Aruch, by the way, Shulchan Aruch, it's the codex of the, the Jewish law, which were written in the 16th century. And we can see bracelets and we can see ateret, the, the the, the crowns. So even though that she was ready and she was beautiful, and she sent an angel or a man, a messenger, let's see what happens. Epi? Um. Fa Omar le le bala ni ni ufam ata yidznu adznu teha vahi vayavo eleha kovo el isha zona ken bau el ahola va el a a sorry aholiva ishit ishot. Hazima Va Anashim Adikim Hema Yishpetu Hot Hem Mish Mishpat No No a Fort U Mishpat Shofkot Dam Ki No a Fort He Hena 
ודם בידיהם. ורגמו עליהן אבן קהל, ובראה אותן בחרבותם, ביניהם ובנאותן יהרוגו, ובתן באש ישרופו, וישבת תזימה מן הארץ, ונבשרו כל הנשים, ולא תעשנה כזימתכנה. ונתת זימתכנה עליכן, וחטאי גילוליכן תישאנה, וידעתם כי אני אדוני אלוהים. So there is hope that the other women won't do as those women have done. And it's really interesting because the, the sinners were mainly men, not women. Uh, in most of the prophets or the, of course, kings, we can see men, not women. And this metaphor that takes two women, by the way, also God as one mother is really interesting. It's something which is really unique here, not something which we can see many times in the Bible. Now, this graphic description Uh, it is giving this uh, chapter and to us, I think, an understanding of how awful was their behavior and that things must be changed. Next week, we are going to see prophets that relates to uh, um, Seir and also a little bit from Egypt. We are going to read chapter 28 and a little bit from 29, only the beginning, uh, the first the seven verses, I shall recall. So we are going to see the connection between the prophets for the nations to the Garden of Eden and to uh, the um, uh, sea monsters uh, uh, that, uh, that we can see from uh, Genesis 1. So more to come. As always, it's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you very, very much for uh, reading and participating. I know it's not an easy chapter to read and to digest. Yeah, brave. But we have, we have it all. Yeah. The Bible, and the Bible is with us and we are with it. So uh, many thanks and until next week, uh, have a great weekend. Uh, Shalom. It's going out a little bit from the Corona, a little bit. Some of the kids went to school next week. More going. Oh. Uh, yeah, Malachi started this week, La Vie. Next week is also our hell for half a week. Yeah, and at least still in the house. Um, and also me, still from the house. Uh, it will, it will start next week. School, yeah. And, uh, school again. Nahon, and I uh, hope uh, that everything is okay. And uh, thank you very, very much.